the 23rd of December 1942. The weekly patrol logs of U-96. Following our last hit and miss patrol, the BDU have again tasked us to hunt in the Black Pit. We are to patrol sectors BE2 to BE5 in the North Atlantic and travel 2,000 kilometers to complete the patrol. Additional orders may be received upon reaching the area. Intelligence advises the anticipated number of vessels in the area is expected to be very large and that is why we have been requested to remain in this sector. However, be warned there is an increased presence of enemy escort ships noticed in the area. We are to sink a minimum of 7,000 tons of merchant shipping and return to port. Good hunting. Hi everyone, welcome to this week's U96 patrol log. Um, just having a look with the observation periscope, we've dived down, we're just coming into the patrol zone, or well, not too far away from it, we just had um, a number of aircraft sighted. So we've um, dived down to uh, escape any, um, hopefully attacks, but I probably shouldn't be having a look, I just wanted to see what they were. There were three of them, so I was just a little bit suspicious being this far out, those three sh aircraft or were they from a carrier um, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna get the answer down here unfortunately so um yeah I think I'll um, forget about this and we'll continue on and hopefully um, we'll head into the patrol zone and find ourselves some lots of kills today as I say the estimate estimated uh, number of vessels in the area especially very large uh, but with a lot of escort ships as well so yeah, I'm thinking big convoys, which will be um, certainly entertaining. And hopefully allow us to get some uh, more practice in with our torpedo solution creation. Because uh, we were a bit rough, uh, rough last week, weren't we? We were off a little bit and uh, not the best we've ever had. So yeah, a bit of practice would not go amiss. So uh, it all seems to have calmed down here. So I'll um, continue on and uh, start the patrol in the patrol sector. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we're in the patrol zone, doing our patrol, and apparently smoke has been seen on the horizon. Oh, there it is. Yes, indeed. There is smoke on the horizon. Looks like a couple of... It's actually easier to spot like that. There's uh, two, maybe three plumes of um, smoke. Uh, so we'll go and check them out. Um, something to bring you up to speed. You know we are waiting to cross the Atlantic for our milk cows to get into position. Bad news. Our resupply ship has been sunk. One of our resupply ships was sunk by the enemy. Coordinates 43, 16 north, 27, 54 west. Um, so that's not good. That may be what's happened to the other one. But anyway, enough about that. We've got smoke on the horizon. I can just start to see the mast now. So we're going to drop down below the waves and go and check out these ships. It doesn't look too big, probably two or three ships, but um, it's definitely worth checking out. And we've got this huge bit of metal in the, in the way now, brilliant. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that now and see what is just over the horizon. Welcome back everyone. Right, we've got a little bit closer. And we don't want to get any closer than this. We have a destroyer. A corvette and a corvette. It's a little hunter killer group. Destroyer and two corvettes patrolling for uh, U-boats, undoubtedly. Hmm. Thankfully, we uh, we didn't go steaming in. We took the cautious approach, and that's proved quite um, a good thing because uh, yeah, that 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 would be messy. That would be messy. Two corvettes and a destroyer. 
Yeah. So we're going to dive down, go quiet, let these guys pass, and continue on our patrol. Okay, welcome back everyone. Right, unbeknownst to you and me, we could never have guessed this, but uh, the video have sent us a mission. There's a ship that we need to sink. It's got some sort of technology on it, which is crucial. Who knows? Uh, it's given us a location though, so let's uh, go and sink that. Um, while we're doing our patrol, we have met numerous uh, small convoy contacts detected by the hydrophone. However, they've all been corvettes and destroyers. I mean, packs of eight or nine destroyers or um, corvettes combined uh, just sailing around this sector. So it seems that, um, yeah, that intelligence communication to say that the uh, escort ships have been noted to be in uh, increased presence here is not lying. There is a lot of them. I haven't actually seen a merchant ship yet, just lots and lots and lots of destroyers and corvettes. But hopefully, now we've got a location of one of these ships, we can probably find one or two with it as well and hopefully get some tonnage. So let's sail on and try and find this uh, critical ship. The smoke there from the the snorkel, and again smoke on the horizon. Who are these guys? Uh, another destroyer, Corvette, Corvette. I swear to God, there's either thousands of these little combinations of ships hunting for us, or it's just this one constantly following us, and we keep bumping into them. Ah. But they're in. We've got to go past them to get to where this critical technology ship is. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to sink them because I'll just alert the presence and we don't get any reward for sinking them. So there's no point. So we'll dive down, stay quiet, and let them pass once again. They're becoming a bit of a pain in the backside now. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Right. The good news is we've found the convoy. So the hydrophone guy says. The bad news is, as you can see. You can't see. <laughs> it's pitch black. But obviously that will also aid our um, survival because um, they can't see us either. Um, but uh, Yeah, well there's a ship there apparently. Let's lock onto it. Uh, how I'm supposed to identify anything is uh, beyond me. There seems to be no moon. It's very cloudy, no stars. Uh, and so it's very, very dark. And with the YouTube algorithm, I doubt you'll be able to see anything at all. Right. Um, for the sake of... I can't see a bloody thing. There's no way I'm going to be able to identify, realistically, the ship, its speed, and everything in this weather. I can just about make out a mass of shadow. So what I'm going to do, it's, uh, it's just after 8pm. Obviously it's December, so... Um, shorter days. Um, I'm going to get away from these and plot a, a intercept course further up uh, and hopefully by then morning will be just about breaking and we can uh, maybe do this with a little bit more light because I can't see anything at the moment. So stand by. Let's see what we can do to improve this. Okay, we've uh, come back up to periscope depth. We've um, It's just coming up to 8 a.m. now, so 12 hours later. Uh, and you see the light is a lot better. We can start. We can certainly make out the ships now. Also, we are now south of the convoy. We managed to dart, dart away and sort of come up from there south. Um, they're being led by a destroyer, Foresight. So you can see the crew can even identify some of these ships now. Another unknown destroyer out there. We've got an unknown Swedish ship. So maybe we'll give them a bit of a pass this time. Uh, another unknown escort ship what looks to be a British Liberty um, unknown haven't been able to identify the name yet another unknown ship back there something on the horizon over there can't quite make it out another ship there they look like prize what we've got there another ship is that a could be a Corvette that one and then behind us 
well, going to be sailing behind us is Fury, another destroyer. So, what I'm planning to do is sit quietly, um, target that one, that one, and the Liberty. Uh, this Swedish ship, we might give a pass. So, I'm going to periscope down. And we'll track them on hydrophone. Okay, coming over to the hydrophone. There we are. There's Fury behind us. Uh, we've got the lead destroyer there. Another destroyer. Another destroyer. Uh, that's the Liberty. That's the Swedish ship. So we've got... Yeah, that is indeed a Corvette or something there. So we'll probably look to attack these three ships here. Um, I'll leave that Swedish one and then book out as quickly as possible because there's uh, a lot of escorts here yes indeed okay we're just going to snorkel down because that's um, something else they might be able to spot so um, yeah let's get that out of the way we'll just have the small thin attack periscope right we've got another British ship here well it's not British actually it's got a um, little emblem so yeah we'll get a torpedo away at these ones first the furthest away ones Oh, it's Canadian. Was that ship we were looking at? Was that Canadian, the ship we were looking at? It said a Canadian ship, didn't it? Maybe this is the one. So, yeah, that's definitely... What have we got in the torpedo tubes? Oh, no, I can't. got to calculate it first. It's difficult to see what it is from here. It's not a tower because the funnel looks too big. Possibly an explorer. Oh, it's too difficult to tell. Let's go with a bell. For the sake of argument. Velocity. Oh, they. Oh, I didn't realise I wasn't a maximum configuration. Uh, let's have a look at that one again. You know, I'm going to stick with the bell. I think that is a bell. That's good. Right, speed. Go. Quickly do a speed check. I'm hoping, you know, if we get a torpedo away at the further ship first and try and time it so we can get a relatively simultaneous attack for each of the ships we want to target um, hopefully that will give us more success but it does very much depend on us being accurate here and also the ships not detecting us and causing any evasive maneuvers or speed changes six knots right Oh my God. There you go, about there. 2,966 metres. Let's work out the angle of bow. Angle of bow is 22. Uh, and that will be 22 in the green. Because we're on the port... Sorry, we're on the starboard side of it. I'm trying to work out back to front. Um, so there, that's her calculated. What do we have torpedo wise? We have T1, T3, T1, T5. Now, if we if we were to fire T5, I don't believe for one second it'll probably go that way. It'd probably go for one of these, wouldn't it? We need to get a shot away at the, probably that one first, actually. So let's target that one. We've got that one locked in. That's, the, that's a uh, Corvette. Where is it? Where's the other one? There it is. Let's get this locked in. Oh, it's a Swedish ship as well. Hmm. Ah, well. We're going to put in six knots there as well they're going to be the same rough full speed try and get that 3500 meters angle of bow is 49 there we go and we're good to go make sure this is set up as well 6 uh, 49 there we go track Nice. Good. Right, let's have a look. What have we got? Oh, the maintenance is happening. Let's get a T1 Port torpedo side. then. Bebesan. Oh, 
fertig. Right, tube two, fire. Los! Right, let's quickly switch to the other one and I hope the calculations have held. Where's where's the other one? Oh my god, where is it? Oh, was that it there? Yeah, it is. Got it. it seems tiny. Um, okay, let's fire the. Let's fire this T1 out with that one. Tube four, fire. Right, and now we got to target the the biggie. There you go. Knock onto this. Oh, and she's got some guns on her. Okay, so she is a Liberty, I think. Yes. Yes. Happy with that. Speed. Okay, six point five. Oh no. So judging by this, it's it's six point, say six six point eight, which is taking us to seven knots on there. So we'll, we'll stick with that because. That's what the speed check was, so maybe the others were a bit slow. Just need to be wary of that. There we go. Just under 2,000 meters. Angle about is about 89. It's about 90, really. Um, 90. And uh, speed, 60, yeah, 2,000 meters. That's looking good. Right, what we got? We've got uh, a T3. Or T5. Let's get the T3, even though it hasn't been warmed up. I don't want to fire that T5 because that may not go on target. That's what I'm thinking. Tube 3, fire. Alright, let's get Tube 5 flooded because you never know. And let's keep an eye on where these torpedoes are going. Okay, we've got two good hits. Uh, however, judging by the hydrophone, it looks as though... Where is it? Uh, the torpedo is going to go ahead of that one. Yeah, it has. Because they've uh, instantly slowed down, as they do. When a torpedo strikes, they instantly slow down. It's so annoying. That's, I hope they fix that in this game, because it's just nonsense. You know? Evasive maneuvers, evasive maneuvers, fine instantly slowing down it, unless they it just doesn't work that way it just doesn't work but however that ship's uh, the um, torpedo is going to turn and come back however uh, I don't think this ship's going fast enough to be able to uh, run into its uh, alternative course now it's going to go that way so now nah, it's not calculated very well however what we could do what we got uh, we got T5 loaded We'll send it. That could go anywhere. Got T3 unloaded. loaded. Yeah, as we predicted, the uh, T5 has gone off on a rogue course. And it's looked like it's going for... Not that one. Not that one, but this one. The one that's already in trouble. The Canadian-looking Empire Defender. Is that this one? No, we haven't locked onto this one. Canadian cruiser this is the one we actually need to hit okay so it has a, a second hit that's not a terrible idea although I was hoping we could just finish off with the deck gun later okay. uh, she's away serious damage fire blazing I think that's the ship we need to sink as well the last couple of times we've been unable to find it. So that is great news that um, there she is, bang in front of us. How they managed to read that off the hull, I have no idea. 
Uh, looks like she's slipping beneath the waves. How are those torpedoes doing? We've got a T3 loaded. Treffer. Whoa, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. It did find its mark, the one that was turning around. Oh, that's amazing. Right, let's get tube four. Let's get this one. This is the Empire Defender. Let's get her locked in. These stutters have come back. Have you noticed? It's annoying. Fire. I should have just adjusted the speed. What on? Oh God! That's going to be no. Let's let's say that's going to be probably about four now. Just let's put it almost half. That's what they normally do. Uh, do you have a torpedo out ready for that? No, we don't. Uh, how are the destroyers? One's over there. There was one behind us. Oh, she's gone. Canadian cruiser has gone. What's that? That's a Corvette. Yeah, okay. There she goes. Mitchell Critical Craft sunk. Nice. Um, that one's been damaged. Apparently. Well, we've got a hit, but no real damage. I think she's okay. And we've got this one over here, which uh, is listing. Okay, that torpedo is missed, as I kind of predicted, because I got the speed. I didn't calculate the speed again. Uh, but as you can see, she is actually rolling over. Uh, so let's relock onto this one. Speed check. Okay, six knots. Um, T3. We've got another T5. Why not? They'll make short work of any calculation errors we've got. Fire! Okay, gonna have to get another torpedo going. Uh, I'll show you where that T5 has gone off course again. Uh, but it may be a happy accident, as Bob Ross says. Fire! Um. Is it that one? Yeah, I think it might be going... The T5 might have picked up this Corvette. So stand by for that to go pop any second. And if it does, then it may pop right where the um, depth charges are. There we go! <laughs> oh. I didn't want to target you, but you got in the way. I suppose you could say she's done her job. She caused a distraction cause one of the torpedoes not to hit the uh, merchant shipping she was protecting but damn you I'll salute you because you did your job properly although you're gone now there's a lot of people on that corvette meanwhile how's that that liberty's sunk she's gone she slipped beneath the waves I didn't hear a cheer but she's gone let's see how this one gets on Welcome back everyone. Well, there we go. 
three good kills. We got the mission critical ship. We've got some water coming down here, dripping in. Uh, we got the Swedish ship, and we also got the Liberty, which is lovely. We haven't radioed that back to HQ yet on the BDU because um, we will see. We've dived down to 50 meters to um, sneak away from the rest of the escorts. Uh, once we're safe to do so, we'll come back to the surface and uh, radio that progress report back in. But so far, so good. Three good kills. That's probably enough to complete our minimum tonnage with the uh, the Liberty Freighter particularly. So um, yeah, we're going to um, sneak away here and keep quiet and uh, maybe slip away. Uh, knowing that we've had a good attack. We we had a couple of missed torpedoes. One was due to... Actually, hang on. No, we haven't had a couple of missed. The one that missed originally came back and hit the other side of the Liberty Freighter, didn't it? Uh, the, the second one I fired at the Liberty Freighter, uh, that missed because obviously the Liberty Freighter was slowed and we fired it at the original speed so it went in front of the uh, ship and went on its merry way the other one which i th fired at it was the t5 and of course that went uh and hit the corvette <laughs> by mistake um so we killed that corvette so you know it, it was a bit of a waste of a torpedo because we don't need to sink escort ships they don't really credit uh our patrol in any way at all so uh, yeah it was a bit of a waste of a torpedo but you know at the, at the end of the day we sunk a, a small warship you know we can at least get a bit of moral victory if nothing else from there. Uh, so we're going to stay out here. We're not going to go back to port just yet. We're going to stay out and patrol. We've still got some um, torpedoes in the uh, the tubes and in the storage. So we're going to stay out here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for understanding why this is probably going to be a short one when I edit it down. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.